welcome back to the efficient cuisine my friends today we are gonna take a look at the most amazing recovery smoothie that you will ever taste here we've got the ingredients three beautifully spotted ripe bananas one lusciously red apple look at this color amazing a little bit of amla powder of course we've got also our little sunflower seeds here and one of the most important uh, ingredients here uh, organic hemp seed protein and this is of course what's gonna make the gain so i've got my little smoothie jar here already on the uh, kitchen scale so i'm gonna take a look at how many grams i'm actually throwing in there of that stuff so then we can make a little nutrient analysis afterwards for all those who like to be uh, all pseudo scientific and stuff like that okay so let's get started so first of all the bananas go in, let me show you here how much that is. And the third banana is in with exactly 348 grams of uh, banana in there. So let's tear that again. That's 139 grams of apple. So let's go in with a little bit of amla powder. In case you don't know amla powder, this is not a necessary ingredient, but it's super high in anti antioxidants. It's kind of a anti-aging, um, I don't know, stuff, you know, it's from the Indian gooseberry. So as you can see, we've got one gram of amla, amla powder in there. So let's take a look at the sunflower seeds. And the sunflower seeds, guys, I tell you, you can also exchange them with something like flax seeds for example but the sunflower seeds they blend really smoothly in my experience so they're gonna give the smoothie a really creamy consistency that's amazing I tell you. I'm going here with about 27 grams of sunflower seeds and the third heaped teaspoon so now this movie is not gonna completely taste like a hand protein powder if you know what I'm saying. Only it tastes only a bit less like hand protein powder. <laughs> but anyway, we've got 30 grams of hand protein in there. So and with the water of course you can do it as you please. I always do that after my own feeling. So this is exactly 330 grams of water, so that's pretty much exactly a third of a liter. So let's plant this baby up. Oh yeah, look at that. that looks amazing. So <clears throat> let's take a look at the nutrients. Alright guys, so let's get into this here real quickly. As you can see, this smoothie has a whopping 626 calories and roughly 24% of these calories come from fat actually, which quite surprised me a little bit. I thought it's actually less. So you might want to reduce it a little bit on the sunflower seeds there because you know when you mix fats and carbs too much in front of your workout as a pre-workout for breakfast for example, then it might be, or at least in my experience, it can often be the case that this fat kind of slows you down a bit you know makes you a little bit tired because it's slower digested as I have talked about uh, previously and stuff so we've got 20% 24% of, of the calories of fat and roughly 15% from protein and the residual roughly 60% coming from carbohydrates when it comes to micronutrients, as you can see here, we've got the vitamins and stuff like that. A lot of B vitamins actually, B1 especially, and B6. And this is definitely due to the sunflower seeds, which are quite high in that stuff. We've got also a lot of vitamin C and vitamin E. Vitamin C is coming from the amla powder and from the apple a lot. And the vitamin E yet again from the sunflower seeds. So as you can see, the, the sunflower seeds they um, contribute quite a lot here to the micronutrients and I want to say that the, especially vitamin E is otherwise quite hard to obtain. Um, there are not many um, plant-based sources of vitamin E out there so therefore sunflower seeds definitely the way to go. And here we have lipids, minerals and protein. As you can see we've got quite a lot of fat in there. 
Um, that's of course also due to the sunflower seeds and as you can see a lot of omega-6, not so much omega-3. As I've mentioned previously, you can also do this with uh, flax seeds, which do not blend as smoothly as sunflower seeds in my experience. But in this case, you will get much more omega-3 than omega-6. So if you switch it up every second day or so, then you should get both types of unsaturated fatty acids in in, on a regular basis. All right, and when we move on to the minerals, we can see that we actually are really strong here in iron. And this is due to the uh, hemp seed powder, actually. There's a lot of iron in there, which is quite a nice benefit from this kind of supplementation, I would say. Got also magnesium and manganese, phosphorus, potassium, that's of course from the bananas. Um, selenium a little bit, zinc quite a lot, so yeah, a lot of amazing stuff in there actually. And when we take a look at the protein, we can see that already with this smoothie, um, four essential amino acids are quite covered, which are cysteine, histidine and uh, phenylalanine and threonine. And we've got also lots of other proteins and just this smoothie alone uh, meets basically a third of my uh, overall protein intake during this day. So that's quite nice actually. And before I get this question another 10 times, I'm using a website called chronometer.com for making these analyses of nutrients. So yeah, not sponsored or anything. It's free to use. You can uh, sign up there and create your own, you know, nutrient analysis. All right, enough rambling. Let's get on with the video. Telling you guys, this is one of the most amazing smoothie recipes that I've ever made. Sweet, creamy, not too fatty, not too proteiny. <laughs> so you can also consume this as a, as a breakfast, for example, as a pre-workout meal. And absolutely no problem with that. And <clears throat> yeah, I hope you've got something from this little recipe video. Tell me in the comments down below if I should make more of this stuff. Um, drop some likes and comments if you liked it. Uh, got some other stuff to do as well. I'll see you guys next time.